this. Taking this. this Entrance to that uh, tower looking thing over there? Can't you feel it? It's like the air is alive with wind spirits. In there. I hope we learn more about those structures on our trip. This is kind of exciting. Nice! What's this? It's got wind energy inside it. Oh, I know! It must be one of those elemental vessels I've read about. They say that the mana goddess bequeathed the vessels unto a great hero in order to aid him on his quest. Apparently, they're quite powerful. Whoops! I shouldn't throw around a sacred artifact. Intruders! No, wait! Maybe they're the Alm and Soul Guard. What? Already? That's right. I am the Alm of Fire, and this is Val. He's my Soul Guard. Is this yours? Try not to leave an important thing like this behind, okay? Oh no! The intruders found out we took the boomerang without asking! No, wait! This is our chance! If a Soul Guard returns it, the Chief won't get mad! Aha! No one would question the Soul Guard! You two can play with the boomerang all you want. Just put it back when you're done. Oh, well then I guess I was using it correctly after all. Let's give this thing back as soon as we reach the town. Sure, 
we can return the boomerang and then meet up with the Alm of Wind. So these vessels belong to a hero who got them from the goddess? We should take good care of it on our way to Longren then. <laughs> This might be useful. use the northern winds that blow year-round to power them. They're used to spin thread and make fabrics. One of their traditional techniques actually dyes the cloth those bright colors. The book I read called it winter. Behold my power! The Sylphid in Sylphid Boomerang, like, a name or something? Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure it's the name of the Elemental of Wind. Uh, then do you think he'll get mad if we use his boomerang? Elementals are aspects of nature and emissaries of the Goddess of Mana. They watch over the lands, rarely interfering with the people who inhabit them. So, you're saying that he probably wouldn't mind? Not according to the book I read, at least. Taking this? Grizzly! sure lives up to its name. The wind never stops, huh? This breeze is strange, though. It feels melancholic somehow. Well, first order of business is to return the elemental vessel to the chief. Then we see about the alm. Dragonfolk can live to be pretty old, right? Do you think the new Alm of Wind could be a senior citizen of the Vale? Don't worry. I'll carry them to the mana tree on my back if I gotta. What a fine, upstanding soul guard you make! Taking this? Oh, there 
item! Taking this. Grizzly! Yes! Got some syrup. Let me see. Nice! Got some syrup. Yes! Taking this? This is kind of except this might be useful. <laughs> Taking this? <laughs> yes! I'm Val, the Soul Guard. I came across your elemental vessel and wanted to return it. Gracious, I was wondering where Ramco and the little ones spirited that away to. Thank you. Those youngins will get an earful later, but enough about that. Welcome to Longren, friends. A pleasure. So where might we find the Alm of Wind? On that subject, I have some unfortunate news. The fairy has not yet arrived to name the Alm. Oh, then you're still waiting to see who gets the job? Here in the Vale, we welcome the fairy with a traditional wind dying ceremony, as performed by one of our wind oracles. But this year, our attempts at the ritual have been unsuccessful. There is one oracle, Karina, whose attunement to the wind element is unparalleled. At this rate, I fear that without Karina, the fairy may not come at all. Sadly, she refuses to listen to my orders anymore. No matter what I do or how soundly her parents scold her, Karina says she won't budge until she feels like it. But now that you have arrived, Sir Soul God, there may be a chance to get her to seem reason. I humbly beseech you to talk to Karina. What? Why me? Perhaps if she is buffeted by a breath of fresh air, she may yet bend to the winds of fate. Be sure to give her a good buffeting, mind you. You mean use the vessel to literally knock some sense into her? Surely a precious artifact should be handled delicately. These days, the elemental vessel is scarcely used as more than a child's plaything. I am certain that a soul god would have much better applications for such an object. Come, if the fairy is not properly welcomed, it could be the end of the veil as we know it. Please, you must make Karina see reason. I think I've got my work cut out for me this time. Hmm. The chief seemed genuinely worried for the fate of the veil. Now's your time to shine, Sir Solgar. Got some syrup! <gasps> this is kind of exciting. Is this? of staring at strangers? What is it? Are you selling something? Find somewhere else to hawk your wares. Uh, are you by any chance Karina, the Wind Oracle? I'm Hina, the Alma Fire, and this is... Val, the Soul Guard. Nice to meet you. <laughs> What's the convoy of alms well with me? No, let me guess. 
the Chief sent you to convince me to do the Windan, right? Well... Yeah, actually. In Tiania, we build a ceremonial bonfire to celebrate the fairy's arrival. Longren has different traditions, though, right? The Chief thinks sending outsiders to do his dirty work is gonna make me budge. Well, he's got another thing coming. Nope, never again! But if the fairy doesn't come, no one can be named the Alm of Wind. For the sake of Longren and the rest of the world, would you please consider performing the wind dying ceremony? When someone asks a stranger for a favor, usually they have something to offer in exchange. I'll tell you what, you can find Shiryu for me. I've looked all over town already, and I gotta get off my feet for a bit. Shiryu? I'm guessing they're a friend of yours. What do they look like? He's dreamy. About the same age as me. Got a nice smile. Oh, someone kind of like Val then? <sighs> Spare me. He's nowhere near as wimpy as this guy. Gee, thanks. Well, Hina, sounds like we have a missing person to find. If Karina's already looked in town, let's try the outskirts. Taking this? This is kinda exciting. Nice! Taking this? Got some syrup! Is this? Got some syrup! Goods of high quality. Come again soon. <laughs> this is kind of exciting. Nice. Yes! Welcome! Welcome! We're having a special! Come again soon!
Yes! Wanna do this the hard way, huh? Take this! That's me. And you're? Val, the Soul Guard. And this is Hina, the Alma Fire. Oh, Val, Hina. Lovely to meet you. I'm Shiryu, a historian and keeper of tales from the Vale. What are you doing so far outside of Longgren? Calibrating windmills, actually. The wind's been hard to predict lately, which might be a side effect of having no alm yet. Speaking of alms, Karina said she'd help call the fairy with some wind dying if we found you for her. She did, huh? I guess she came around to the idea after all. Is the dying process hard or something? Uh, not particularly. As long as you know the steps, that is. You just capture the breeze with the cloth to bring out the colored dye. The issue is that the fairy won't come for just any old round of wind dying. Karina has the most skill in long run, so she has the best chance of summoning her. Then, why is she so averse to helping? Because Karina wants... She wants to be chosen as the Alm. But all she's ever heard from the rest of the Vale is that she's wrong for the job. And yet... They keep asking her to help with the wind dying. It wouldn't surprise me if the fairy was staying away on purpose to avoid these hypocrites. But... Why would Karina be a bad choice of Alm? Did she pick a fight with the Elemental or something? <laughs> that's a good one. But, uh, nothing that scandalous, I promise. But it's... complicated. Too complicated to bother you both with right now. Besides, I know Karina wants the Vale to prosper, just like everyone else. And it looks like your arrival might have been enough to give her that push. Anyway, I'll head back to the Vale for now. See you there. And... thank you. Just being stubborn. Didn't you hear that the convoy from Tiania has already arrived? We can't keep wasting the alms time with your selfishness. You're putting the whole Vale in danger with your temper tantrum. If you want to meet the fairy so bad, then you do the ceremony. Why does it always have to be me, anyway? It's not like I have a chance at becoming the alm. Y'all made that abundantly clear. You think I'll just go along and do all the hard work for nothing? Pouting about it won't help your case, you know. I'm not pouting. I'm angry. After all, I... I just wanted to be the Alm. And see the world. Honey, we know it's hard for you to accept. But it's been years since anyone in our family has been considered worthy of Alm status. Sure, your affinity to the wind element meant you had a good chance at the gig. But after what you did in the Sanctum? Fine. Criticize me all you want. But I don't regret my actions one bit, so stop lecturing me. How irresponsible. The other wind oracles don't cause their parents this much trouble. But if we don't push her, the fairy might not visit Longrin at all. Maybe Shiryu can talk some sense into her. 